Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry I haven't made a video in a while. It's been really cold and I've been really sick. Still a little bit sick, but you know what? Let's take a look at this Hyundai Palisade and, uh, and see how sick it is. Somebody in the comment section said that they wanted me to review the third row of my future vehicles as if it matters, but I am granting the request, so let's start in the third row. And now let's check out the second row. So far, only a couple of squeaks in the back here. Let's go to the front seat and see how it does. Let's begin. And now for the button test.
And now for the final button. 21,000 miles as you can see. All right, so fit and finish wise, this is my first time reviewing a car in all three rows to see how fit and finish does. And I'd say the third and second row did mostly pretty good. There were, however, a few squeaks up here in the first row, most of them coming from the gauge cluster slash screen area and by the center console area, by the drive controls, the climate controls, whatnot. All very minor squeaks, but there's a lot of them. The rest of it did okay though, so as far as a score goes, I would give this a 6 out of 10 for a fit and finish. Speaking of which, it's been almost three years, two and a half years since I reviewed a Palisade. That's when I was filming on my Galaxy S10, which I still have, by the way. I just don't use it to film anymore. I upgraded greatly since then in terms of video and audio. So it's interesting to reflect and look back on that video. Times have changed, but not this score. Six out of ten. As far as materials go, we're looking pretty good in here. We have very acceptable soft touch vinyl in all the major areas on the door you even have some kind of fancy stitching on the door here which i like quite a bit where your knees are and lower unfortunately is hard plastic but if you want to go better i guess you could just buy a genesis gv80 otherwise good soft touch everywhere i don't have a problem with any of that i guess the main trim in here is kind of this plastic with uh, these little sparkly things in here. Not really sure if I like that. It's kind of cheap. But again, any kind of material complaint about this car can be addressed by just buying the GV80. And we have this material, which feels interesting. For the seats, I am pretty sure these are real leather seats, actually. They feel quite a bit better than the last Palisade that I reviewed. If this is a fake leather, it's a pretty good fake. Uh, feels good to me. To my pleasant surprise, both the headliner and the sun visor are Alcantara. As far as buttons and switch gear go, this is pretty much the same as how I feel about the last Palisade that I did. The buttons and switch gear are decent, but they're nothing really special when you press down and click them. They're kind of all right. I do like this row of buttons here though. I'm not sure if they're metal or not. I don't think so, but they did feel cold when I touched them and they have a nice metal look on them on the surface and even a good feel too. So I like these buttons quite a bit and they try to make the plastic stuff here look like metal. I mean, it's a good effort. As far as a score goes, same score as the last car, six out of 10 for materials. So. There you guys have it. The whole car gets a 6 out of 10. Please let me know your thoughts. I did not get to drive this around, so I do not have any kind of comments on how it feels on the road or handles or anything like that. So I'm not going to say anything good or bad because, well, I don't know. In case you guys didn't see my post, unfortunately, I bent over to the dark side and I downloaded TikTok. Let me know what kind of videos you would want to see. Do you want to see my regular uploads from YouTube just like this video? Like uh, little cuts and segments from my main videos? Would you like to see more personal stuff? I've uploaded a couple things from my Snapchat onto TikTok. Um, please let me know what you'd like to actually see if you use TikTok yourself. I guess I'm not the only one on TikTok doing these interior quality checks. I even found a guy who took my own videos and just re-uploaded them to TikTok. Didn't even try to make their own video, just straight up took mine. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thanks for being patient with me, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.